Hello everybody, we have a Samsung Galaxy A20e and it isn't charging because of temperature warning. Um, I've already tried to replace the charging port, simple as step, but it still doesn't work. Let me show you and let's see if we can fix it and find the error. So let's go. Um, as you can see, it's already disassembled. Charging port wasn't the solution. There's also a possibility that the battery is the issue, but not very common. So yeah. Let's just connect everything, if we can. Nope. Yes. Connect the charger. As you can see, it will start to charge. Whoops. Did I switch something? I guess I did. And now it stops. We have our warning and that's the end of it. Good. So let's look further. Let's make a quick inspection. Below here, everything is fine. There could be an issue with the flex, which is common on some Galaxy A series, but not all of them. So let's make some room here. We can. And I'll look under the microscope, but first zoom in. I'm going to disconnect the battery first, then flex if I can. Okay, and let's have a look at the flex cable and the uh, connectors, FPC connectors. So microscope, zoom out, first connector here below, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, this one looks very clean. We're just going to look at the solder joints here. But their tweezers dirty, they're looking all good. So Sometimes this plastic breaks from drop damage, uh, from hard impact drop or anything, but this one looks really good. Um, yeah, there's a protection which is located somewhere. Where is it? I'm not sure about it. Never had a 20E before, but yeah. Okay, look at let's have a look at this connector. Yeah, we have a little bit of a strange view. Let's check. Okay, didn't expect that. Okay, I think I found our issue. Hmm, good. I don't have a connector here and it is urgent. Hmm. So let's see if we can solder this back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loose pins. Seven. This one is still intact. I'm going to try to glue this, but first I want to re solder that so. Let's make a proper workspace. I'll lift that up a little. So you do not have to take the board out, I think. Let's take some flux. Oh, that's not good. Give me a minute. Oh, that should be fine. That should be fine. We're going to add a little bit of flux. It 
not need that much. Now I'm going to take my salt iron. I have a new tip, very tiny tip. Should be awesome for very tiny um, capacitors and what's going on here. I hate to stand. What is going on here? Did I already mention that I hate to stand? Well, now you know. Okay, I have a new tip, which is a, for my GBC, the, where is the number, C21, C110, 020, 2425.98, it is a straight tip with a very tiny, um, Let's try that. I already tested it because the bend tip which I have is not transferring the heat very well to the outside of the tip. You should be careful with very tiny tips. I always try not to go over 400 uh, degrees because it's not good for longevity. They won't hold very long if they get too hot because they're very tiny. So if you can stay under a 400, 410 maximum to keep it alive longer. Good. A little bit of solder wiring. First I'm going to try to solder one. But I have to turn around like that. So I'm holding this together. And one is soldered on. Did you see that? Do it again. Good. Now we're going to take some solar wire. Works very nice, very tiny. Awesome. I love it. Careful not to touch the plastic. Okay, it looks very good. So now we're going to clean that a little bit. And we're going to add, we're going to have to add some glue.
not going to clean it too much. I don't want to make a big mess. Just can kind of make it clean looking. Where is mine? Okay, let's clean it brutally. Some clean wipes. Good enough. Let's check if that is really stable. Just a plastic here, which is left. Whoops. Ah, oh, come on. To make it worse. We're fixing it. Of course. We could replace that FPC. That'd be way too time consuming. Now we're going to add some tiny bit of epoxy because this is going to dry fast and Hard. Basically, basically, the repair here is only a issue with the FPC connection. So there's a bad connection. So the resistance isn't right anymore and the phone thinks there's a heating issue. So let me mix that up. Good enough. Just need a, we just need a tiny little bit. Tiny little bits. Around here. Let's make it bigger. Better. I'm not going to add some on the soldering because there's a possibility. We need to access that again. It fell down. Oh, that's a very tiny piece. This is going to be a quick repair, so yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that. So we're going to leave it here for dry. 10 minutes and then it should work again, right? So let's not hurry up too much. Let it dry out and I'll be back when it may be. When I'm going to be back when it's dry and then we're going to test it.
Test. Okay, we're back now. Everything should be dry. So let's try to connect everything back and see. We were successful. So connect the click. Click. So moment of truth. Let's see if we're charging. going right to 1.8 volts, which is good. We didn't have had this before. It was kind of checking, you know, at 0.5 or 0.8 volts. I can't remember. I think it was 0.8 and then it shot off immediately. And now you can see the warning symbol is gone and we're charging. So just a communication issue and yeah, Sometimes it's easier than you think. It can, must not always be any component that failed or often Galaxy A series FPC connection issues. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider to hit the bell and subscribe or anything or just hit the thumbs up and see you next time. Goodbye.